This series is brought to you by The Ridge Wallet. I'll tell you more about them later on in the video. Hello, hello, beautiful people. Welcome back to episode number two of our brand new series where we take our maxed old school RuneScape account and tackle old school RuneScape bosses. Now for today's video, we are tackling on Zolra. We're gonna defeat it in 100k gear setup, 500 million gear setup and 2.5 billion gear setup. Now the reason for such a jump in gear setups is to well compare the three and see which one is obviously the best but also how many supplies you're actually going to be using a defeating Zolra in all different sorts of gears. We are going to be doing three hours with every single setup and at the end of every single hour we will see exactly how many kills we got, exactly how much money we spent doing it and the exact net profit we make. And obviously that is not all, all the money that I make in this video I am once again going to be giving away to my community, all you gotta do is be subscribed to both of my YouTube channels and let me know in the comment which boss you want to see me do next. Alright, that's all there is to it pretty much, let's begin with our number one with 100k gear set. Setup. All right, it is that time of the day where we are going to begin with our lowest tier setup. Now this altogether cost me less than 100k obviously, but then when it comes to charging the trident and the bolts and the supplies, it will be more than that. That is why at the end of the hour, I will show you exactly how much money the supplies actually cost. So we'll see exactly how many food we eat, how many potions we use and how many charges we use with our trident of the sea. So I'll show you all the expenses at the end of each hour. That being said, let's begin begin i'm ready let's go now if you want to defeat zolra yourself you're gonna have to complete the quest called regicide to even access the area zolra is located in and basically you can damage zolra only with ranged and magic attacks it has three different forms one is blue and you attack the blue one with a range hit and you pray magic while doing so and there's also a green form that you attack with magic and protect range while doing so and then there's also a red form which you just kind of avoid and you hit it with magic and you also want to be avoiding the fog clouds while doing so. You will learn where to stand the more you do Zolra. And that's all there is to mechanics with Zolra. A lot of people overcomplicate things. If you want to get better at Zolra, instead of looking at all the random sites that tell you exactly where to stand, it's best to just send it, go right into it, and you learn Zolra as you do it. Oh, this might get really close actually. We have five seconds on the clock till an hour is up. Can we do it? No, we would need to hit right here, but I missed. All right, seems like we're gonna be a few seconds too late. Yeah, five seconds too late. Honestly, that is as close to an hour as it gets, I think. Firstly, what we are all interested in is the amount of kills. It appears that we killed 19 Zolras in the very first hour and we made just about 2 million, basically 1.9 million. Some cool drops that happened, Elite Clue Scroll. Two magic seeds, one dragon halberd, and obviously the scales are where the biggest profit is, and all the small loots kind of just add up. Also, like Zulandra teleports are very expensive, so that's that, that's also really a good drop right here. If we take a look at the supplies cost, it appears that of course we wasted 421k on the food, potions, runes, ammo, and coins. Now, if you're thinking where the runes and coins come from, that is basically the trident. So the coins and all of these runes, 153k, just from casting our spells. Um, 17k comes from ammo, 130k is just the potions, and 120k is the food. So uh, in total, we basically made 1.58 million. Very nice, very enjoyable first hour. I think I'm ready to go on and do the second hour. It is time to begin our second hour on the budget setup. And and the goal is extremely simple. I am aiming to get 20 kills this hour. Um, last hour we got 19, so I think I can improve a little bit. Oh, fuck. Ah. <laughs> uh. Well, that was my first death, meaning that I am actually going to be taking two prayer potions every run. This time I took one, went for three kills, and then ended up dying. Luckily, I do have the elite diaries done, so it doesn't really matter, but this only works once a day. Therefore, no more dying from here on on. And there we go, just barely, 1 hour and 30 seconds. I think that's alright. And we've done the second hour of the cheapest setup. 
Taking a look at the kill count, we ended up getting only 1.8 million this time around, so a little bit less, but we ended up getting one extra kill. So that's pretty good. Uh, when it comes to Unique's drops, we got one Dragon Halberd, we got an Elite Clue Scroll again, and a Spirit Seed, I guess, out outside of that, nothing really special. Zolandra teleports once again being worth quite a bit, and uh, obviously the scales and I guess some Manta Rays. And when it comes to supplies cost this time around, 439k, a little bit more in the supplies cost. So a fun fact, we actually make less money this hour even though we killed more Zolra. In our second hour with our low tier setup we ended up making 1.36 million net profit that is so I think that is honestly quite okay. Okay, it is time to begin our third and final hour with the budget setup. As you can see once again, look here in the bottom, 06 seconds in. When that reaches an hour, we are done. And obviously this time around, I am trying to shoot for 20 kills again. Maybe 21, but I don't think it's very possible. Well, this is the first 4 kill trip I managed to do. So looking at the time, it might actually be possible to get 21 kills this time around. We'll see if we can constantly improve every single hour. Once again, we did exceed the one hour by a little bit. I thought I could get another kill in but I had to bang beforehand because I didn't have any food left and by the looks of things once again we are about 30 seconds too long but you know what that's totally fine because 30 seconds I mean that doesn't really matter in the grand scheme of things now we are done with the third and final hour of our budget setup and my first impressions if you do have void you don't really need much to kill Zolra at all. Trident of the Seas is obviously very, very nice. If you're an Iron Man, perhaps, this is one of the items that I would recommend you to get before you actually do a lot of Zolra. And outside of that, you don't really need anything. If you have the Trident, if you have the Crossbow, you can have a really bad amulet. You can basically have no boots at all and no offhand at all. That's all you really need and you can do Zolra extremely comfortably. There is obviously another thing that can really impact the speed and the, and the easiness of kills and that's an anti-venom. Obviously on something like an Iron Man you just bring two anti-poisons per each trip and then you just drink it between fights. Or you can also have the Lunar Spellbook where you just cast the Cure Me spell. Now those are all options if you do not have anti-venom. Uh, but for now, let's take a look at the statistics of the third and final hour of the budget setup. And in this hour, we ended up getting 20 kills. Again, very nice. This time we made over 2 million, just straight up profit, very solid. We also got one Elite Clue Scroll and the rest of the drops you can see in this beautiful Rune Light plugin. Now, when it comes to supplies cost, this time around, we used 444k. In total, we ended up getting 1.55 million net profit in this hour. Very, very good. If we take a very quick look at the statistics, we can see that with 100k gear challenge, I ended up getting about 20 kills on average. My most profitable hour was my third hour and in total all three hours combined we made about 4.5 million in profit and we increased our kill count by 59. With that being said let's move on to our 500 million gear challenge and see how that goes in comparison to this. Alright, it is time to begin with a 500 million tier setup. Okay, this is going to be first hour. Let's see how many kills we can get. I expect a big, big difference. So I'm really looking forward to this hour. So let's see how many kills we can get. Holy shit, this is fast. Oh, first ever kill and we already got the PB. One minute and two seconds. Right, we are about to go quick, I think. This is awesome. This feels so good. Okay, I should also be able to do a lot of kills in this hour just because of how quick this is. Now, we're almost at the end of an hour and the first impression about this setup, it is just straight up amazing. In most situations, I don't even use a single food. However, I still bring it. The only real time you are gonna be using food is during the blue phase when the range attack hits you and you always want to vengeance that attack. And outside of that, the Sanguinesi staff heals me out of the damage that I'm taking most of the time. So, um... The kills are extremely simple, around a minute to two minutes every single kill. Uh, the speed is phenomenal and uh, yeah, this is, this is sick, this is amazing. I could totally see myself doing this for many, many hours in a row because it's just that simple, it's just that fun. Uh, but yeah, let's finish off. I guess I can do two more kills in this time because I might need to bank, we'll see. Please don't die. 
Okay, we are good. Okay, we did it. We have one minute left to spare and you know what? I don't think we can do a kill in uh, 50 seconds anyways. So this is it. This is uh, where we end the first hour with the 500 million setup. Now, this should be interesting. The supplies cost. Obviously, using Sanguinesti staff, the supplies costs are gonna be high because you are using three blood runes per attack you use this staff with. However, the kills are just so fun, so chill because you basically never need food or very rarely actually need to eat now the kills per hour we made with this setup 31 that is beautiful that's an increase of 11 kills per hour unfortunately we still are yet to see any of the uniques uh, but even without uniques we made basically 3 million straight in profit now if we were to land on a unique this could be like 5 million for example but obviously uniques do come with time so we cannot complain with 3 million an hour however the supplies cost per hour are insanely high with this setup, 1 million used in an hour and look at this, 1700 blood runes, 700k used just in runes and obviously 300k approximately used in food potions and some teleports. I did end up using the Zulandra teleports to obviously increase the speed of the trips. Um, so all in all it appears that we made approximately 2 million, I think it's safe to say. So 2 million net profit this hour alone, very very nice. Let's see if we can increase the kills per hour to perhaps 32 or even more in the following hour. Right? Oh my, I'm praying. Oh! <laughs> I was praying mage. Holy, I'm so lucky. I should have been dead actually. Oh my. Right. Alright, the hour is up and this time around uh, this was not as good as the first hour. For the first time we actually did not improve on our second hour. In fact, we actually ended up getting two kills less. Now the reason for that is a couple of smaller mistakes where I actually had to teleport out right at the end of the kill because I ran out of supplies. That probably cost me one kill, maybe even two in total. But the profit this time around 2.5 million from 29. Once again, no uniques still from Zolra. That's where most of the cash comes from pretty much. But if we quickly take a look at the supplies cost, for this hour we spent 1.3 million on just runes. Now, now if you're doing this for money, I would recommend you to not use Sanguinesti staff and just use Trident of the Seas. The cost in the rune department is going to be so much cheaper, but it's actually going to be a lot more worth it for you. However, we're doing this for the speed, for the fun, so I don't really care about the actual profit that I make. But the net profit in the second hour with the 500 mil setup is 1.2 million. Only 1.2 million I made in this hour, man. There's something not very right about that. God damn right. Let's go ahead and do a third hour with this setup. And then we're going to move on to a full-on max tier setup. All right, here we go. Third and final hour with the 500 mil gear setup. Let's see if we can improve on our times. Let's go. Oh, there we go. Nice. We actually got something. Serb Visage, 2 million. Sick. I'm okay. There we go. Nice. KC338. We actually finally get our first drop on a good old Zolra. That's actually my first item on the collection log for Zolra. So I'm very happy with that. Nice. All right. And here it is. This should be it. There it is. Uh, one hour is up. 12 seconds over. You know, it's fine because in the previous kills, we actually did it sooner. Alright, so the last hour is up with a 500 mil setup and this time we once again killed 30 Zolra and we basically made exactly 5 million in profit thanks to the Serp Visage drop. Very nice, finally we got something and when it comes to supplies cost this time around we ended up spending 1.5 million. So if my math is correct and I can do it quickly, I think that's about 3.5 million straight up net profit this hour alone. Now, it's going to be quite exciting moving on to 2.5 billion gear setup, so I'm really looking forward to this. It's gonna be expensive, but it's gonna be fun. So let's see if we can improve on the personal best and let's see if we can get more than 30 Zolra kills. Taking a very quick look at the statistics for our 500 million gear setup, we can see that on average I increased the kills per hour by 10 or even 12. So first hour I ended up getting 31 KC, with the 100k setup I only got 19. But this is actually very very interesting to me, because if you combine the loot and the supplies lost, I actually basically made the same amount of money I made with the 100k setup. How crazy is that? 
if I wasn't gonna receive the uniques, I basically would have gotten more or less exactly the same profit as I did with 100k setup. But obviously, with more total KC, comes higher chances of actually landing the uniques, therefore also making more profit. So in total, we ended up getting 31 more KC in the 3 hours with 500 million gear compared to 100k gear, and we also made 6.6 .6 million in just straight up net profit. All in all, I'd say a solid block of 3 hours. Before we continue on with the most exciting part of the video, I want to tell you more about the Ridge Wallet. The Ridge Wallet is a slim and lightweight wallet that isn't bulky like an old-fashioned wallet. It is designed to easily fit in your front pocket and it can hold up to 12 cards and also cash. There are over 30 colors and styles to choose from, my favorite ones are the Carbon Fiber and also Burnt Titanium. The wallets are also very safe as they have integrated RFID blocking to protect you from digital pickpockets. Most people are still using wallets designed in the 90s, carrying around old receipts and unnecessary mass and here you can see the comparison between the Ridge Wallet and my old wallet and as you can see my old wallet is very bold bulky and I can probably fit most of the things into the Ridge wallet that I had in my old wallet. The Ridge team is 100% confident that you will enjoy it. They will even give you a test drive for 45 days so if you do not love it you can send it back and you will get a full refund. And on top of that they also have a lifetime warranty. So if that sounds interesting to you get 10% off today with free worldwide shipping and returns by going to ridge.com slash Mika that is ridge.com slash Mika and use the code Mika. Thank you once again Ridge for supporting the channel. This is an expensive investment, that's all I'm gonna say. Oh, do we just wait a little bit? I'm just gonna wait a little bit while eating, honestly. There it is, it bought for 850 Miller. Oh me, oh my, right. I guess we we have what it takes to do the max tier setup Zolra now. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, the 2.5 billion tier setup. We got ourselves the Harmonized Nightmare Staff. We got the Twisted Bow, full on range switch with a blowpipe for the special attacks to heal. With heart, with everything you could ever ask for. Dragon arrows here, dragon darts in the blowpipe. And it's time to do 3 hours of Zolra with this setup and see the amount of kills we can get each hour. I'm really looking forward to this. This is probably gonna cost me a lot of money actually because I am planning to selling this straight after using it simply because of how unstable the price on this thing is. But I'm excited. Let's begin with our first hour with 2.5 billion tier setup. Alright, it is time to begin. I am very excited. So there's a small change I had to quickly do and that is to put fire runes in the pouch just so the game remembers that you're using the staff, so you don't need to check the spell every single time you're switching a weapon off. I didn't know that at first, but this should be fun. But I also, at the same time, don't think it's going to be as chill as using the Sanguinesi staff, because obviously we're not going to get that passive healing in. So, we'll see how that goes. Also, using Blowpipe on the blue phase, it is actually better. And then using Tebow as a last hit, but now I don't have the inventory space. So when I have the inventory space, that's what I'm going to do. Uh, but the uh, blowpipe here is actually better than Tebow, believe it or not. There it is, one hour is up, we have four seconds left to spare, so we did it uh, really nicely. Okay, first impressions of this setup. It is actually a little bit harder than with Sanguinesti Staff, just because of the passive healing that you can get from there. But we did end up getting more kills with this setup that we did with the last one, so... Technically, it would still be worth it. So 33 kills in this hour, 3.2 million made. But now the important thing is how much money did we actually use casting all these surges. And it appears that it's actually cheaper than using the Sanguinesti step staff. 888k used in supplies. Uh, most of it, as you can see, would be dragon darts, some dragon arrows, but mostly these uh, wrath runes. So all in all, it seems that this setup is obviously better than the 500 million setup, but it is a little bit more click intensive and it's also a little bit more um, harder, I'd say. Uh, however, let's see the net profit in this hour. So we made exactly 2.37 million net profit. So Pretty good hour with no uniques. Let's go on with hour number two. Huh? I fixed the drawer. There's the stuff behind it. Oh, nice. Okay. I did break the... Oh, no. <laughs> Wait, which drawer? The one by the door. Wait, did I PB it? Oh my god, hold up. I never noticed. I PB'd it. 049, new personal best. Wait, that's such an improvement. I went from 1 minute and 2 seconds 
to 0 0.49. God, and I didn't even notice. Okay. I'm fucking griefing. Please hit. This could be really bad. Oh, I'm so lucky. Nice. Oh, we're good. Noodle staff did not fail us now. All right, we are now one hour in the second hour of 2.5 billion setup, and there we go. We just killed Zolra, so basically just two seconds late or so. Uh, once again, a very solid hour, quite a decent profit. I'm getting better at this. It's definitely very enjoyable. Uh, so yeah, let's check out the profits we made in the second hour. Taking a look at the good old kill count, we once again did 33 kills this hour, very not bad, and we made 3.35 million in profit. Now, when the supply is cost, we did end up using 883k this time around, so once again, the net profit would be approximately... 2.47 million. Very, very good net profit in this hour. And now, let's go on and do the last hour of this setup uh, and see if we can improve and maybe get 34 kills. Let's see if we're gonna make it work. Alright, here we go. The last hour with 2.5 billion gear setup. Let's see if we can improve on our 33 kill per hour record. And hopefully, well, I, I hope for 34. Is it possible? Probably. Am I able to do it? Uh, probably not, let's be honest, but I'll try my best and let's see if we can improve. Hello. 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 And there's a bank right outside Zolra, right? No, you can't bank outside Zolra, Bell. You can deposit, but you can't bank. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's okay. It's it's Bell comes in the room and she's like, You know, there's a bank right next to Zolra. I forgot, it's just deposit. It's all good. Okay. Oh, I'm praying wrong! Ah, Bell, I'm dying. <laughs> no, I am not teleporting out. If I die on the last kill, we have a minute left, so I can do one more anyways. Come on, RNG Jesus, be with me. Oh no, money! Oh no! <laughs> Can you fuck? Well, it appears to me that uh, we died, fellas, and unfortunately, I cannot do one more kill. Um, so we are ending it here. Let's go back to our good old Zolra and see exactly how much money we made. Um, yeah, did what a way to end it, huh? So I wanted to risk it, right? Get a nice little 33 kills again, but this time the, the, the luck wasn't on our side. Wait, I have to pay 100k! Man, shit game, honestly. Oh my god, look, at, how do I equip this? Boom, click that, click this, that. The walk of shame, fellas. Right, there it is. The inventory is looking questionable. The hour is up. Uh, let's take a look at the profit and loss we made in this hour of the 2.5 billion gear setup. All right, looking at the profit this hour, we killed 32 Zolra, almost 33, however, we died, and we made 2.6 million in profit. And when it comes to supplies, we ended up using 863k supplies. You know what? 963k in supplies to be exact, because we died. So with quick maths, uh, the net profit this hour would be 1.6 million net profit in this hour. Not too bad, but also not too good. Alright, quickly taking a look at the statistics, you can see that with the absolutely max tier gear, I ended up killing about 33 Zolras in an hour. When it comes to an average loot, it usually came out to be around 3 million and that is without any rare drops. If we were to get rare drops, it would skyrocket up to around 5 million for example. When it comes to supplies, I usually used around 800k. The only time I used more, well, was when I died, 963k on my very last hour. When we take a look at the KC, we killed 8 more than we did with the 500 million gear setup. And when it comes to profit, I actually only made 200k less profit than with 500 mil gear, but that is also without getting the uniques. So if you do some quick maths inside your head, that basically means I approximately made like 1.8 million more with the 2.5 bill gear across the span of 3 hours, that is obviously. 
Now, I could end the video here, but I've also noticed a lot of people like to do Zolra in just Twisted Bows. So, you know what? We are doing a bonus hour, and we're gonna go through with it, and we're gonna do one hour of Zolra with just Twisted Bow and compare it and see how it feels. So, let's get into it. Okay, well, let's sell it for... So, I bought it for 847. If I sell it for 847... Oh, it went up! <laughs> wait, wait, wait! 851? Yeah, wait, wait. Yeah, let's go like that, let's go like that. Fuck, I'm gonna... Oh! It sold! It sold! We didn't lose money! Yes! How much? 848. Let's go! I made a million! Okay! We take it! We take it! We are back to being rich! What a quality hour! Let's go! It is time for our bonus segment of the video. We are going to do one hour of Zolra with just range, just T-Bow and full Armadil. You can see the gear right here. Now this setup is really cool because you do not actually use any money for any of the runes. Now you can use Vengeance if you want and in this case I will be. But when it comes to out runes outside of that, this setup should be probably the most profitable in my opinion. We will obviously... We will obviously see by the end of the hour, but this is how I would go about killing Zolra if it wasn't for the video. Just Tebow, AFK and chill and watch something on the side. That being said, let's begin with our one and only hour with a full range setup that costs around 1.2 billion. And just like that, the bonus hour with full armadil and twisted bow is now completed. Now this was extremely relaxing, but is it obviously slower than the full on max setup? Now, the amount of kills we got in this hour is 26, the amount of profit we got was 2.2 million, but the big thing comes out of the supplies cost to actually do this hour. As you can see, it is much cheaper than, for example, using a max setup, you only use 550k on the supply cost, and even that could be lowered if I weren't using Vengeance, for example, or if I was not using the teleports, because those are pretty expensive as well. I could probably drop this down to like 200 to 300k in supply costs. Now with some quick calculations, if I can do this very quickly, I'd say I made about 1.7 mil net profit from this bonus hour. And overall, my favorite gear setup to use was actually the 500 mil setup, because it was the most relaxing, but I also really did enjoy the 2.5 billion setup, simply because of how fast everything was. That being said though, it's time to talk some numbers. We are at the part of the video where we can actually compare all of the three once again for the final time. You can see the kill counts, you can see the money made, and all of that is obviously across the span of three hours. Now all of these totals together, plus 1.8 million, will be added on for the total giveaway on this video. Now, I'm gonna round it up and I'm just gonna make the giveaway be 20 million. So once again, all you have to do is be subscribed to this channel and my second channel. You can find it in the description and drop a comment letting me know which boss you want to see me next. Do realize though that I have done uh, Vorkath already, so please don't say Vorkath, say something else. Uh, and yeah, that, that's pretty much it. That's the video for you guys. It was a long one, it was an enjoyable one. I hope you enjoyed and I hope you're looking forward to more videos in this series. Also, if you have some spare time, please check my Discord. And if you have even more spare time, please check my second channel. I do post some cool League of Legends stuff there and other stuff. So go check it out. Right. Thank you very much for watching. Once again, I appreciate it. I'll see you all very soon with another video. Bye-bye.